gonna move this clip to the beginning of the video. 1500 likes, and we'll go ahead and show you guys the new build. Little teaser, it's an M build. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, and in today's video, um, uh, basically we got a lot to do. So the first thing, um, we finally got the carbon fiber spoiler. I've been waiting so long to get for the i8, guys. So I'm just gonna hop right into the footage and show you guys that the spoiler finally came in for the i8. That's just the mod that I've been really waiting for for so long because the eye it looks aggressive everywhere, but the back. Like as soon as we got the diffuser on there, it did make the lower end of the back look pretty good. But I needed something kind of like a little kick in the rear just to make it look a lot more aggressive. And this little guy made all of a difference and looks so good. Let's just jump right into it. And this is the carbon fiber spoiler, guys, that we've been waiting so long to get from Keys Motorsports. They had to get this literally ordered for us, custom ordered, I think. So uh, now that they actually stocked up on these, we finally got our hands on one of them, and uh, it's gonna finally complete this rear end. This rear end really needs to kind of lip right here because I, I can only imagine with the window and a little bit of a lip coming through the back, it's gonna make it look so much more aggressive. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and just wipe that trunk lid and go ahead and add this carbon fiber spoiler. And I'm just curious to how it looks as well. Oh buddy, that looks so good. And at the same time, we have all the 3M that we need to actually mount this thing. This is gonna look so, so, so good. So actually, before actually mounting this thing, let's go ahead and wash the car, because it is so dirty. I don't know if you guys can tell, it is absolutely filthy. I wanna go ahead and wash the car first before actually mounting this, maybe getting the water and freshly new seals or whatever. So let's go ahead and wash the car and then throw this on, heat it up, throw it on. I think it's gonna look absolutely insane. put on that little spoiler the next thing we had to do is obviously go take it to a car meet go enjoy it at the car meet we had a fresh new wash my boy jonathan hosted a car meet this is about a week ago two weeks ago um so i just want to throw this footage in i've pretty much been doing the i8 build on the behind the scenes and just pretty much started putting everything together uh to get this car together because a lot of you guys also want to be seeing the new builds and uh, I wanna keep those on the channel more active and then as for side projects, I try to make it all in one video instead of one video saying, spoiler install, taking the idea to the rally, and this, this, and this. I'm gonna try to put everything in one video. So the next part is a rally slash car meet that, that my boy Jonathan hosted. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this part. And a uh, beautiful view out here. Dang. I was the driver. <laughs> well, the driver's good. Until that last lady showed up. <laughs> But your man got a tune for this car and uh, if you guys can smash that like button We might have to put it on and also stay tuned to the end of the video because your man also got another build on the channel And uh, that will be announced soon as well catch you guys we're at my dad's place got to drive safe Then we came home and uh, I started to work on the 7 series transmission about a couple days later and um, I, I, I just broke that this was like a couple days ago like literally two days ago I broke I broke apart that it was already broken I was trying to fix it but I broke it again um, Anywho, just, just, just cut into the footage of that Now was this 7 Series worth the money? I'm starting to think no, because I just wasted $70 on that part, I took apart that entire thing on my transmission, just broke it, so now I have to go buy a new part just to get my transmission to work, 
I'm sorry, showman. I'm so sorry they have to deal with my car on your lift. Let me go ahead and order a part and try to overnight it or something. But on the plus side, guys, now we're back and I want to show you guys something pretty cool. It's a, it's a new build. All right, guys, so this is all I can show you for the new car, but we have a new car on the channel. The video's coming up soon. It is front end impact, but that's all I can show you guys for now. Directing the attention back to the i8. So we have the i8 looking so good with the Keys Motorsport spoiler. Again, guys, check out the link down below if you guys have an i8 and you guys absolutely love this spoiler. Make sure to copy it because this thing looks so, so good. Um, the next thing I want to do on this car, we got a bunch of carbon fiber and the car is looking pretty awesome, but it's just these doors. They hit my girl in the head a few times now. If you guys see the doors, when you go ahead and open it, it looks like it's up all the way, but look how much more I can bring it up. Like that much more. And if I bring it up all the way, oh, it's actually not going down right now. It's looking good right now. Get this side all the way up. Basically, there are some instances where this door just gets a lot more lower while it's standing up, and this door is just up all the way, so it just looks really weird. Plus, at the same time, it keeps hitting my girl, and I was like, you know what? We need new shocks on these doors. So I went ahead and reached out to FCP Euro, and actually, they have these for the i8s. The coolest thing about these guys, these go bad every single year. You open the door all the time, and these typically go bad, and uh, the thing is, FCP Euro, you got lifetime warranty, so make sure to check them out down below. If you guys ever need these shocks or shocks for any car, get it from FCP because if they ever go bad again, you can just go ahead and replace it. Let's just go ahead and get the new ones and uh, just start replacing these bad boys. So these are the parts we got from FCP Euro. As you guys can see, that is the part number just in case you guys need to order them from BMW, FCP Euro. So literally, they got it from BMW and they are offering you a lifetime warranty that BMW does not offer. So uh, that's why you gotta order through uh, through FCP Euro, not BMW. But um, anywho, brand new shock guys. Finally, I'm super, super, super excited about this because whenever it hits my girl in the head, oh man, it's the most embarrassing feeling in the world. So this is the new part. And like I said, guys, original BMW. So that also feels really good replacing the car with some OEM parts. Let me go ahead and figure out how to put this thing on and uh, I'll get back to you in a second. All right, guys, so we just took out this one. So if I bring it on this much, look how fast that goes up. So let me go ahead and show you guys the other side. <laughs> now you gotta oh, get one for this side. Well, this one, you see it's actually weaker, can you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Plus, you have to push it up all the way, too, when it's up there. So, it's not actually staying all the way up. So, now this is newer back in the present. So, uh, not in the future, in the present. So, I am currently uh, been working with the transmission with Showman Motors. We've been trying to figure out the transmission situation on the 740 Li. And um, basically, that little part is considered the conductor sleeve. It holds uh, the, the gear selector. So, all this type of terminology, a lot of you guys don't know it because a lot of you guys don't dive into your transmissions. But long story short, um, I broke it. And uh, actually, according to Showman, that he actually knew that, that, that he knows that taking apart that part, there's, a, there's like a high chance of breaking it. So that's why he didn't want to do it. So I did it because I'm, I'm, I'm just hard headed and uh, <laughs> I broke it. So that being said, now we're gonna have to order a new one of those, which is about four to $500. Um, and we don't want to do that. And uh, that, that, that might fix our transmission. That might, it's like a 50-50 chance. Or we can go ahead and order a new transmission for $1,000 to $1,500. Now, is this car an absolute money pit? Yes. And that leads me to the next thing I want to say. Never, ever, ever purchase a 7 Series. I'm going to be straight up. Even though it's the N54, they have so many problems and the parts are not the same as a regular N54. The transmission doesn't come off a normal N54. These transmissions go for $2,000 to $2,500. For what reason? I have no idea. Because a typical 335 transmission is about three dollars to $400. So the, the difference is ridiculous. And these cars go sometimes even cheaper than 335s. So at this point, guys, let me know down below, should we end up fixing the 740 or should we just, just cut our losses? I, I absolutely wanna fix the car. I, I'm already in debt, like severely in debt, not just because of the car, but a lot of other reasons in life. And uh, we just picked up a new project on the channel and that's why my, my bank account is just negative right now. But uh, it is what it is. I'm still considering a pulling the credit card and doing the transmission work on the 740 because I really want to complete the build. I don't like like incomplete builds. We got it to save it and the transmission is part of the whole thing. So uh, this is an expensive little baby that we have to take care of. Will it be worth it? Probably not. But um, in terms of uh, saving a, a, a 740 Li that was very neglected, it will be hopefully accomplished. Again, huge special shout out to Showman Motors, he's been literally dealing with my nonsense in the 740 Li. If you guys can show him some love down below, that would mean the world. This video has a little bit of everything. So I also want to give a huge special shout out to Keys Motorsports for sending out that spoiler. I've been literally waiting to get that in and uh, finally we have it. It is so, so, so nice. It really 
really makes all of the difference in the rear end of the car. It makes the car just look so much more aggressive. And then obviously, last but not least, shout out to FCP Euro again. That lifetime warranty is gonna come handy because those just called BMW to go out every single year and as part of their normal services every single year. So that's a very expensive part. And speaking of BMW, I'm gonna have to take this thing in for an oil change and a spark plug change. Obviously, I know how to do an oil change and a spark plug change, but on a car like that, one day when it comes time to sell it, if you didn't do the maintenance by a dealer, the probably the next owner is gonna be like, hmm, okay, probably some dude out of the garage worked on his i8 to probably mess something up, and that could cost me $100,000 down the road. So obviously on very exotic cars like this, you do not wanna do your own stuff. You probably wanna take it to BMW. What I did was is I sourced my own parts. So I got my own spark plug. I did get my own oil from BMW, uh, but for way cheaper because they overpriced the spark plugs. They charge you 20, I mean, they charge you $45 a spark plug at BMW, and I got BMW spark plugs for $12 a pop. So that being said, uh, just go get your own parts and then take it in, and then they don't even charge you taxes on uh, labor, uh, so that's also great. And then at the same time, it'll all be recorded on the Carfax. So that's the best way to save money and still getting a good Carfax on your car. So that's pretty much gonna conclude the video, guys. Unfortunately, uh, the 7 Series has just been continuously been a headache. Uh, the, the new build right over there, I'm just super excited for it. We actually have a lot of carbon fiber goodies that came with the car as well. like. $2,000 worth of carbon fiber goodies. If you guys are excited to see the new car, make sure to smash like button and we can introduce it possibly in the next video. So smash that like button, guys. I'm gonna move this clip to the beginning of the video. 1,500 likes and we'll go ahead and show you guys the new build. Little teaser, it's an M build. That's for you guys. I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.